Yeah, hello everyone, so welcome to my channel. Um, so I'm gonna talk more about liberty and how we're gonna do that um, for those of us that trying to get the whole concept of Betty um, this video um, is to help you out on how to do that so now without wasting more time um, the most important thing is Betty it's uh, uh, it's kind of a script that checks the style of your code that checks the pattern of your code how you write your code actually um, in C programming, there is no um, particular pattern that um, um, may be based on indentation or based on how you work or based on how things um, go on or how you arrange your code. As far as you write, you put in the correct syntax, it will run correctly. But um, Betty is kind of a structuring our code to look more clean uh, and nice um, um, look more organized when it comes to comment you put the right comment there um, you tell you oh yeah, dude there is um, it, there's too much space or they'll tell you hey dude this comment you write is not organized and all that right so that is what um, Betty is all about so from this link um, the link here if you can see this what we have here so the link over here so the next thing you're going to do is um, you're gonna click on it because it's gonna take you straight to the main link so um, this is the main place so we have um, http colon slash slash github dot com slash halberton school slash betty so that's the link when you click there it takes you to this place so what you're gonna do these are all and everything that is contained inside this folder this is everything you find here and this everything you're gonna clone inside your uh, betty or whatsoever you can call it so now um including the readme file and everything so immediately you open this page um the first thing uh, you're gonna click on this place this green button um kind of green yeah green button there then you're gonna see this so what you're gonna do is uh, um, you want to get this so what way can we get this how can we get this so I think you're gonna click on whatever we have here so you can click on that to copy it so when you click on it to copy uh, what the next thing you're gonna do is um, Right, the steps completely. <laughs> so when you click on that, then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your terminal. So um, let me clear this. So where you are, because this is not where I'm gonna be, so I'm gonna see the space dot dot to go back. Then see the space dot dot to go back again. Then let me clear my screen. So I'm gonna hit enter. So at this so when you do ls so um i think betty is one of my folder here which is this one here so you're gonna create um a, a file call it betty when you create it a file and um, sorry a folder i mean so you're gonna do just to make directory mkdrr then you're gonna put the this is betty there betty then you hit enter so when you hit enter it's going to create a, an empty folder with nothing inside so the next thing you're going to do after that you're going to navigate inside that folder by doing cd then betty like that so when you cd inside betty so you see that you're in the betty folder so if you check yours if you do your ls to check what you have there actually it's your an empty folder you're not going to see any, all this stuff you are seeing on my own you're not going to see any of those so now and clear that so now you're not going to see this this is just an empty this is but you want to get what you have there into this place so what you're going to do you're just going to say um git then init something like this so after your git you need to initialize this then you hit enter then the next thing you're going to do is um, um you're going to try 
gates then after the gates the next thing is um you're gonna pull because i'm not sure you can clone this but if possible you can clone this let me try it so to um this thing to confirm it's either you can clone or you can um, pull it so whichever way so i'm gonna create another folder i'm gonna call this betty my i'm gonna use small letter here i use capital letter but i'm gonna use some um, small letter so let me make a directory then i call it betty so i hit enter so if i check that i have the small letter betty which is somewhere here this one here so the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna cd inside that betty i'm gonna hit enter so i'm gonna i'll try if i try to say git and i say pull like this if i try to do that uh sorry uh, i'm gonna copy this so when i copy that um come here let me see let me see whether it works that way so i'm gonna say i'm going to share b uh, your own mind is DAV a depend on I'm using Linux operating system. So if I hit enter, it's telling me not a git repository. Okay, so I'm gonna make it a git repository by saying git then init, which I said earlier. So we have this. So you clear your screen. After playing your screen, then you try it again, which is the git pool. Then with all this whatever there, you hit enter and. I think it works but let's see let's wait for some time to see if it works um yeah it's working uh, it works so it's gonna wait for it to load so uh you make sure you're connected to the internet for it to work and that's all so it will see ls uh, i check see we have all this inside so make sure that it's not small letter b you have it if you have betty like b capital b e t t y which is supposed to be so so that's the main point the main stuff main stuff i mean the main stuff there so having done with that now the next thing we're gonna do is um we're gonna run the commands here so we're gonna go through that again is permit me to come to this place so um we're gonna create a file so we have done that so we're gonna create a file so creating a file so install the this so we're gonna copy this sudo code whatever so after cloning whatever you have done so you're gonna come here and do this um you paste it here that's gonna do I hit enter and that is loading and we are done now the next thing we are going to do is um, after doing that um, we're going to copy all these scripts here we're going to copy all the scripts we have here from there to there you copy it after copying that uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, create a file so the file name the file name is going to be uh, betty that's the name of the file so we're going to call the file betty so how we're going to do that to say v i m and put betty there betty like this so if we are using a bid so you hit enter and we are inside the um, editor and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put i for insert mode because we are about to type something there so gonna paste all we have there and i'm going to click on escape the escape to to get away from our insert mode because we have different kinds of modes in being so i'm gonna get away from my insert mode i use escape then i'm gonna save with colon then wq uh, it's enter and that is it now we're gonna make this file an executive file file that can execute so how we're gonna do that by exiting this file we're gonna say um ch mode now if you check the file we have just created this betty b 
B-E-T-T-Y. I'm sorry. Um, let me see L S dash L. So if we check the file we have here, this Betty, which is this one here, you can see that it only has um a read, a read and a write here. That's we have read and write, but there's no execute, so we can't execute this first three is for the sorry this first three here with this dash is for the user so the user can only read and can only write the next one is for the group the group can only read and they can write then the next one is for everybody that is all they can only do what read but they cannot write and they cannot execute so we want to give them that permission so i'm going to give them the permission to do that the permission to give we say ch mode when we say the ch mode there then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say um, um all that is a for all of them that's i'm referring to um these people here then if everybody can have access that means including the group and this should have access so all plus then i'm going to add the execute which is x I can even give the user the same um, authority to that file, but I want everybody to access it apart from the user. Because if I give the user, anybody that wants to access this file will need a password to be able to do that, which is not supposed to be so, because it's only for the user. But I want everybody to have access to this, so I'm going to say this uh, the 30 like that, and I'll hit enter. So, why don't we check it again? I'm going to check that, so say ls space dash l and hit enter now you can see the color of our betty here has changed then you can see that both this guy has what execution power because it is all everybody so we have the x for here means they can also execute that file for the group they can also execute that file and for everybody they can also execute the file so you can see that so we have the betty here so that's the function so we change mode change mode then all plus x then the name of the file to give them permission to that file so don't forget we are working on a file now the next thing is we're gonna um run another command so haven't done that then the next thing is um we're gonna move that file from where it is to another file and how can we move that file through this code so we're gonna type this copy then you come here and you can sorry and paste it there which is studio move betty to the bin this studio here has given it an authority as a user to be able to move to where the bin is normally nobody even you the owner of the file don't have permission to the bin that because if anything gets wrong there you're in trouble <laughs> so nobody have permission to that folder so we're gonna give it authority by using the sudo then move because ordinary move won't work if you move it normally it won't work so you need to ask the sudo for it to work so you hit enter and that is all so i hope that this tutorial helped you so don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel and um, God bless you. So now, 